Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another RWC Watches Retro Cinema. Today, uh, this week, we're going to be watching The Blob. This is from 1958. Uh, kind of stoked to watch this, actually, because uh, doing some some research on it, found out this is Steve McQueen's first like feature role in a movie. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that's also in my trivia notes. But uh, let's get to the other notes. 1958, The Blob runs 86 minutes, produced by Jack H. Harris, which is, this is his personal favorite of all the films he's done. Uh, directed by Irvin Yeworth, written by Kay Linke, Lynn Acker and Theodore Simonson. Stars Steve McQueen in his fe feature film debut, Annette Cor Corsant, uh, Corsant, S-A-U-T? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Son of a... I don't know. Whatever. Uh, this is her film debut, Earl Rowe, and Olin Howland in his final film. Uh, trivia. Paramount Pictures distributed The Blob as a double feature with I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Um, that's pretty cool. Steve McQueen plays a teenage high school boy but was 27 at the time of filming. And according to producer Jack H. Harris, they added dye to the blob to make it increasingly redder after it had consumed successive victims. So, pretty sweet. I think this is actually the first uh, color film I'm going to be doing, uh, reviewing on this channel. It's only my third one, but you know, whatever. Um, pretty cool. Let's just get into watching the movie. How about that, huh? Alright. Let's roll it! Poke it with a stick! It's a baby blob. Okay. Now you're talking, King. And we'll do it just like you said. What did I say? Backward. Huh? So you can beat this kitty car going backward. To the light. Okay. You say when. Okay. When? <laughs> oh, you can't fuck with Steve McQueen. There's nothing else you can find out here, Steve. No, I guess not. Why don't you come with us to the spooky show, huh? Oh, you, you like it? <laughs> no, no, thanks. Uh, you gotta stop taking everything so serious, Why so serious? It absorbs flesh on contact like an acid. Yeah, that's right. 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 Don't know what this is, but it's got to be killed before it gets any bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. This has been fired. But I haven't seen any shot marks around any place. Let me tell you what happened, kid. 
You or whoever else was in on this, but you thought you'd put more over on the police. So you break in here when the doc's not around, you mess the place up a little. Oh, wait a minute, Jim. The kids couldn't have done this. You saw for yourself. The window was locked from the inside, and so was the door. They rigged it with a piece of string. It's part of that plan to make us look silly. I think you're doing that pretty well by yourself, Sergeant. Oh, fucking burn! I'm so tired of looking at the inside gut for second hand crotches. I can spit grease. You know, Marty, if I didn't get away once in a while, I'd cut loose. I'd blow a gasket. Anyway, I had to call our police. Now I gotta cut loose. Foot loose. And when I come here on Monday, if Mr. Johnson looks at me funny just once, just once. You know what I'm going to do to him, Marty? Hey, Marty. Oh, shit. Good night. Hello? You and I are going to go home and go to sleep, and tomorrow when we get up, that sun's going to shine. Just like yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Maybe you'd like to tell yourself it didn't. Maybe you'd like to tell yourself it didn't. Maybe It's Ben Affleck, it's Daredevil. It's not. Just frozen. I don't think it can be killed. But at least we've got it stopped. Yeah, as long as the Arctic stays cold. Okay, so that was 1958's The Blob, starring Steve McQueen. Uh, good stuff. I love the camp in it. Uh, just It just makes it so much more fun and funny, and it's so dated, and the special effects are so dated, and it just makes it great. I especially loved the parts where the blob was actually like oozing in through like crevices and like the, the vents, the air vents, and... Uh, in the theater it was it was really good so if you guys haven't seen it give it a shot why not uh, especially if you can pick it up for super cheap like I did uh, got this for I believe I, I want to say 10 cents it's either 10 cents or 50 cents that I picked this up for so if you guys can find it give it a shot uh, good stuff really enjoyed it and it's gonna have a home up on the shelf so see you next time um, where we watch another retro cinema video VHS so I don't know how to end this video so see ya <laughs> bye